Gear readings people, person with glasses here. That could have been smoother. Today we're going to talk about Floki, and you might say Floki sounds familiar. In the last two couple videos that we made for Token Fight, their sister project, we talked about Floki and what they do a little, so I thought let's talk about everything that they've been up to in more detail. We covered them a month ago, two weeks ago, and now here's the next video in the whole Floki and Token Fight series. Now just so you know, we have, and I'll quickly show you, a whole bunch of tabs open, so I can actually give you all the important information, and I will walk you through the whole journey they've been through, what they've been focusing on, and the determination behind it from the team to make blockchain history, as one might say. As always, links to absolutely everything in the description down below if you want to check it out, because they have their own token, which used to be a meme token, but now is a lot more serious with the whole development that has to do with it. This is not financial advice, but I'm pretty sure you know that. So right now, it's more than just a token. You could say it's a movement, it's a community, utility, charity, everything all in one, on a mission to become the world's most known and used cryptocurrency. And it showcases what is possible when you start out as something funny, you know, dog with a hat, but then over time deliver on everything in here, and just in the past day alone, the token went up over 40%. Look at the performance in the past month. We're up to 1.3 billion in market cap, which is a clean 5x. And we're already in the top 100 projects, top 80 even. Their goal is it in the upcoming bull run to be the top meme coin in the entire space, because there are new meme coins that come and go, something that gets hyped at the moment, but only a couple of them stay long term. So you could say, Floki is the next Shiba, Floki is the next Doge, and maybe Floki, eventually, is just the next Floki, as it might reign supreme eventually. And I hope to show you in this video, with everything that the team has been working on so far, all the partnerships, their marketing behind it, the strategy and everything at all, that this is far more serious than I would generally say all the other meme coins. So if I had to bet on one, then Floki would be it. The foundation I would say so far are about six different things that I will cover real quick, but more in detail soon after, and that is the Floki locker at first, which has almost half a million holders and an all-time high market cap of 3.5 billion, where you can lock your LP tokens, NFTs, and a whole lot more in a couple simple clicks. The locked value right now is about 111 million. Then they got Valhalla, their NFT metaverse game, which is going to implement everything that has to with metaverse, play to earn mechanics, enjoyable gameplay and a lot more. For governments, they have their own DAO. They have a whole bunch of partnerships and that are just the ones that have been shown right now. If we explore all, there is a lot. The marketing is great. Their team is great. They launched Token Find not too long ago, as I mentioned in the last two videos, which has to do with the tokenization of all the different assets. In short, a bunch of guys that run hedge funds with trillions of dollars think that real world assets and the tokenization of those is going to be pretty good by 2030, so they got a project just for that. And then when it just comes to staking of the token, I think right now around 25% of the entire supply is staked. We get like 30 something percent in APR, which with those gains is insane. And then there's still a lot more to everything. And all of that just shows the transformation from used to be a funny dog with a hat to now being a serious project with a whole bunch of partnerships. For the token alone, it is the 14th most traded cryptocurrency worldwide with almost 1.5 billion in a 24 hour trading window. And that is despite, as mentioned, 25% of the entire supply being staked already. Where well, right now, depending on the term that you select, whether it's three months, one, two, or four years, you get between 8.5 and 27% APY with 332 million worth of tokens being staked so far. And I don't know about you, but that seems pretty long-term oriented. Then for the sister project of token Fi, that more than doubled in value over the past month, we're up at 55 million market cap, with a trading volume over here peaking at 28 million. So pretty much half the supply. And we went from 24 mil to 55 mil in market cap just in the past month alone. And then there was a proposal from the DAO. You know, you got government's rights, you can vote on things. Here's the proposal that they had. Burn that amount of tokens, which, let's do some math on that, and the math is done right there, is worth about $11 million. So around 2% of the token's current circulating supply. But right now that's closer to $25 million already since that post was written. And they want to burn them for two different reasons. To ensure long-term security and stability of the Floki project by removing the risk of these tokens being exploited and dumped, and to permanently ensure that these tokens can never enter into circulation. The majority of people in here that voted for it say yes, burn the tokens, with almost 90% of people voting for that. More detailed style of that in the whole post as well as additional things that are linked. But that proposal has already been passed, as they announced that just a couple days ago on March 2nd. And that just goes to show how powerful an active community is of people that actively vote for it, as that decision alone decided about the fate of 2% of the current circulating supply. Recently, DWF Labs purchased 10 million in Floki tokens as well to support the whole ecosystem, for which they had this announcement over here. That purchase is gonna span two years, which covers most of the upcoming bull run in time. And that is not the first time that DWF 
Ave Labs purchased that, as it did purchase 5 million tokens as well almost a year ago, back in May 2023. And in case you haven't heard about them, they're a new gen Web3 investor and market maker. And if they believe that putting $15 million into the project is worth it, they might see the value that they provide. Then a couple days ago as well, they reached 400 million locked. As you've seen, the staking right now is at 330 something mil and the locker at 111, meaning we're even closer to $450 million locked right now. And importantly, the other top meme coins like Pepe, Bong, Doge and Shiba combined have less TVL than just Floki, which I would say is a pretty good sign. The locker we just talked about and have shown in the beginning as well is now live on the Blast mainnet, which means it's the first major locker protocol on that mainnet or on Blast in general, which means there's no worry about getting rocked at all. Now in case you never ever heard about that, Flokify is the industry standard when it comes to locking your tokens and implementing the ERC-1155 standard. They support 15 blockchains as of now, but with more to be added soon, which means it supports a lot more blockchains than any of the other major protocols in that space. And keep in mind that just one single side project that they have within the project, which started as a meme coin because funny dog has the hat. For that, the quick launch bot went live as well, where you can create a crypto token on Blast with a few clicks directly from your Telegram and or Discord app. I showed you how to use Tokenfi before in detail, but just as a recap, if you didn't watch any of the other two videos, if you ever wanted to create your own crypto token on any of the chains that are supported right now, it would take like 20, 30, 50 minutes, and you have to know some code, have to follow YouTube tutorials, and then remove all the boring part and simply make it, what's the name, the decimals, what chain do you want to launch it on? Here, fill this form out, launch it, done. They were also highlighted in the CoinDesk report for the AI focus on code audits, which was in this article over here mentioned as well, where Mr. Ethereum himself floats the idea of AI-based code audits for various different reasons. But it's not only Mr. Ethereum or Floki or TokenFi or anybody in the project that sees the importance of that, but super rich man of NVIDIA who does something right, especially right now when it comes to the share price. But he says it's not longer just a futuristic concept, it's actively transforming industries. You can see based on the chart and how high they go, they make a whole bunch of money. But then again, more on that in the article. The point is, they look at what do we have in the next five to 10 years? How can we position ourselves right now to work towards that with the industry that leads towards the point anyways, and then make people benefit along the way? Now, Jay-Z himself said one quote that is stuck in my mind. Man lie, woman lie, numbers don't. Look at the numbers. This number is green and it goes up. This number is green and it goes up. If you want to get the token, they're listed on Binance, Gate, OKX, KuCoin, Bybit, and so on and so forth. I mean, you can see the 16 different pages down there. Similar thing for TokenFi. But then obviously, it's not financial advice, just showing you a bunch of evidence and good performance of a token. So I would simply say, look into it. Maybe it's something for you. If you got any questions, leave them down below. And I will now make food because I'm almost starving. And until next time, take care.